a year ago um, we would have just been starting sort of our summer season of event first aid cover. Flip forward a year and things have, have changed quite a bit. Um, we're not sure how long this is going to go on for so I suspect it's going to be quite a while of supporting the NHS. A few months ago I was furloughed from my job and like many thousands of people around the UK was concerned if I'd have a job to go back to or indeed if it would ever be the same again if I did return. During the start of the Covid-19 outbreak I made the really difficult decision not to go home to my family but to stay in my student house. I decided to stay because I knew I wanted to help. Speaking from a young person's perspective, I think this year has been really tough. Um, we have missed out on all manner of things from seeing friends and family, to schools, to exams being cancelled, the list goes on. So when we heard that a vaccination programme had been launched, um, I was really eager to get involved, do my training and help out wherever I could. Today David and I are out as an advanced life support blue light response emergency ambulance and we're looking forward to the day ahead. A colleague of mine told me that St John Ambulance were looking for volunteers to help support the fantastic work that our NHS staff were already doing. So I applied to become a volunteer. The trainers who delivered the courses were second to none. It made me realise that being a part of St John means being a part of a large family. And then one Friday in March, I got an email saying the following Monday, I'll be deployed at NHS in London. The memory that I know will stick with me a lot from my time at Nightingale was the first time I cried on the wards. Um, he, he blew me a kiss and said how much he loved me and how and how that he wouldn't have been able to do it if it wasn't for me. It's been really rewarding uh, getting out and supporting the NHS. We know how much pressure COVID is putting on all services, uh, including the ambulance trusts around the country. I'd like to thank St John Ambulance for not just helping me take that step, if you like, into that new career, but for giving me some of the confidence and skills I needed and I need to move forward. I am so, so, so proud to be part of St John Ambulance, this amazing organisation that has now trained thousands of volunteers in the vaccination programme. But I will leave you with the highlight of my first shift, which has been to see happy people relieved to have had their first vaccine. It really does make those aching feet all that worthwhile. Experience of my first COVID, supporting the London Amp Service, and I'm in awe. It has been an experience this evening, something I'm not likely to forget in a very long time.